I'm Patrick Bailey with IQList.com. Today is March 11th, 2018. And in this video, I'm going to be going over how to install the latest firmware, how to update the firmware on your Prusa i3 MK3 3D printer. Okay, I got an email from Prusa, which is pretty cool, saying there's a new firmware out, firmware 3.1.2 for the MK3. So this makes me really happy, not only that they're updating firmware from time to time, but that every version or so, they're really excited to announce it and send emails to their owners like me and say, hey, get the newest one, here's some fixes we put in that are really important, so go get it. Um, now, once I, after I got my Prusa 3D printer, I did update it to the latest at the time. So currently on my Prusa uh, 3D printer, the firmware is at 3.1.1-RC5-150. Um, also, when I downloaded all that, all my latest stuff, I also got the uh, Prusa Control, and I think they've updated that as well. So if I go over here and look on About, my current version is 0 0.9.4 underscore 415 beta, and the slicer engine is 1.37.2.1 Prusa 3D. I think they may have updated this as well. So I'm going to go grab everything in this. Um, but with that, let's get started. How do you download stuff? Uh, how do you update stuff? Where, where is the stuff? Uh, now, in this email, I can go click on this and it goes right to it. But I'll go uh, to the actual Prusa 3D uh, slash driver page. And this is where the driver is and all, and also all the software that you need to install the driver. So first of all, let's go down and download the driver. So if you go down here for the firmware, shouldn't say driver, firmware. And down here, you'll see that they've uh, announced even a newer one at 3.1.2. They've announced a 3.1.3 as of March 8th. Maybe they might have found a few more bugs to fix, maybe. Uh, but here you can say it says MK3 only. That's what I want because I have an i3 MK3. And I can just download this zip file. So I will just click on this zip file. And oops, there it goes. Yeah, shown folder. So there is, copied it twice actually, but that is the guy I need. So in here will be uh, my actual firmware I need. But what I'm gonna do while I do all this, I've already downloaded all the, the tools that can help me install the firmware, uh, but I wanna re-download them again and get the latest stuff because I think there also might be some updates to the Prusa control program and things like that. So what I'm gonna do is first of all, uh, well, I'll click on this. I'll download the Windows version since it's a little, it'll take a few minutes to download. So here is the drivers, and these actually include a bunch of other stuff. So here I'll click on, oh yeah, most recent, March 2nd. So I guess there probably is some stuff. So I'll click on that to start downloading that. And then what I'm going to do is, it probably will uninstall things, but I'm probably going to go uh, uninstall things myself. So I'm going to go here to control, search for a control panel, open the control panel, and search for uh, remove. And there's the add or remove programs. So I'll click on that. Now I don't think you need to do this, but I'm going to. And if I search for Prusa, I can see here's at least four of the programs that Prusa installed with this tool I'm downloading right now that I downloaded in the past. So I'm just gonna actually uninstall them. So I'm gonna click on here and say uninstall. Yes. And click yes again. Uninstall, yes, and yes again. Uninstall, yes, and yes again. And the last one, uninstall. And I think that's all I've got. I can go do a search for slicer, but I don't think, nah. Okay, so I think I've uninstalled all the stuff I installed before, but we shall see. So it looks like I have another uh, three minutes to download the rest of uh, the new version, the new Windows version. So I'll let that uh, do its thing. Okay, there we go. So now that's all downloaded. So I'm just gonna click on this to run the installation program that they provide. Maybe, there we go. So let's run it. English, yes. Hit next. And then here I just like to select everything just in case I need it. So there's everything. Uh, hit next. Prusa 3D, next. And create a desktop shortcut. There we go, next. And install. And let it run its course. 
Okay, now select English again. I think this is for installing the next thing, I guess. Ah, uh, the Prusa Control. Okay, hit Next. Hit Yes, because I, I probably have leftovers from the last time. Hit Yes. Uh, create a desktop shortcut, sure. Next, install, let it go. Okay, launch Prusa Control, which I don't need to do for the firmware, but I'm curious if the version is different than it was before. Do I have a new Prusa Control? Oh, looks like maybe not. I see 094415 beta, but it may have a different slicer behind it, so I'm curious. Okay, so let me go over here and click on About. Uh, 721. Nope, that is the same guy. Now, somebody noted this last time that I did this that I forgot to update this. So by default, it actually has MK2 right here. So this, even though I had this work just fine, I think the only difference right now is it's not set to do MK3, um, which I don't know how that, how that affects it. I know it affects the workspace here because you can see MK2 there. So go to settings, go to Prusa control, and switch it to MK3. Boom and then hit OK, and now we see MK3. So the design's a little different, you see that. I don't know what else it affects, but it's important to have the right, correct dimensions, right? Okay, so let me just stop this for now. So that guy didn't get updated. Mission, no, not a new version. Uh, click Next over here, Finish, and hit Finish, which I don't think I want this, but it'll open to show us our 3D models. Let me minimize that. Cool, so now I should have my firmware. So if I go over here and search for a firmware updater, they happen to call this firmware updater, so just search for it. Open that up, and there's our guy. And so, we're gonna, so next, I'm gonna go get this all hooked up and get the actual firmware and start loading it on the MK3. Okay, so first I want to show you the firmware that's currently on here, just to show how we up, how it's going to get updated. So if you click on this, and you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see support. Click on support, and you'll see there's your firmware. So currently I have 3.1.1RC5150. So that's good to go. Go back to the info screen. And so now, I'll turn this a little bit, and you'll see up here, uh, I think it's pronounced INC. On your INC board, there's a USB connector back here. And so you should have a USB connector that came with your Prusa that has a, I believe that's a Type B, which is this big guy. So you're going to plug that in to there, and then plug this into your computer. And then now we're going to go through uh, installing the firmware. So I already updated the firmware updater. Just to show you again, you can search for firmware updater on your system and it should find it. Found it on here. But now we've got this installed. So I need to go actually to my downloads folder where I downloaded the firmware and I need to unzip it because I don't think this is going to read the zip file. So here is the firmware I downloaded before. So I'll right click on that and click extract all. And that'll, I'll just click extract here, it'll extract it right there, opens it up. And there's the hex file we need to uh, choose to update. So I will click Choose File. I will go to Downloads. And go here and choose the hex file and click Open. Then what I want to do is click Rescan here. And we shall see if it'll find my port. Cool. Found COM3. And so if it finds a, com if it finds a serial port, chances are you're okay. And then what I'm going to do here is hit update, and so I will move this over here a little bit. And then now I'll record, let me, I'll record the screen on the Prusa as it updates so we can see it update and hopefully get the new firmware. So here we go. Click the button. Updating firmware. Do not disconnect any device. Oh, and you can see there it says upgrading firmware on the Prusa itself. Cool. So it is upgrading. 
firmware updated successfully. And we see there it went back. So now let me click on here, go down to support, and see if we have a new version. 3.1.3-245. So we are upgraded. Cool. So that is it. So that is how you update the firmware on your Prusa i3 MK3. It's not too bad a process. Hey, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, give it a thumbs down. Also, if you like what we are doing here, subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button. And lastly, have a piece of info to share? Just post a comment.